Hey, today we're gonna to be looking at Google My Business or what's being called Google Business Profile. So Google Business, Google My Business recently had a name change a few months ago. And today I wanna to look at some very specific things that you can do inside of your Google Business Profile to optimize it. Now, as you probably know, Google has been prioritizing the Google Business Profile listings as the in search results, both on the search results page or on the maps page. And you can actually log into your Google My Business or Google Business Profile. I'm gonna be using the terminology both ways because, I, because I've been talking about GMB and Google Business Profile, Google My Business uh, a lot. So I'm gonna use that term uh, uh, interchangeably, but you can log into business.google.com and you can look at insights. And in those insights, that's going to be the analytics for your GMB. And you can optimize your GMB profile so your Google business profile will be served up more often when customers are searching for your dealership or something like your dealership, discovering your dealership. And that's what we're really gonna be talking about. Now, if you look at your Google Analytics right now, you're gonna find that about half of your traffic is gonna be paid traffic, about half of that traffic is gonna be organic traffic. And I'm just saying loosely about that. And about half of the traffic that you're getting organically is probably coming from Google My Business. So there are some specific things that you can do to optimize that business profile to make sure that you show up more often. So we can create uh, that optimization in your Google Business Profile so you can get more free traffic from Google. You can get more free phone calls from Google. So you can get you, from Google. You can get more consumers reaching out via messenger or uh, 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 chatting with you via Google. There's a lot of things customers can do on their uh, Google business profile. So what I'm gonna do right now is let me just share my screen with you real quick. This is gonna allow me to look at a Google business profile. And you, as you can see right here, if you just Google your dealership's name, you're gonna find that you have your Google business profile right along here uh, 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 that's gonna provide a lot of different things that you can optimize your profile with. Now also, if I were to go to Maps and do the exact same thing, you're gonna see that, you're gonna, you're gonna see your Google Business Profile right here. And in both cases, it's basically the same thing. You're gonna have general information, you're gonna have your hours, you're gonna have your phone number, uh, but there's other things that you can do. And for example, if we look in here, you can see that you can build individual department pages, and it's a good idea to do that. That's gonna add uh, uh, more weight to your main Google business profile page. Um, but you also are gonna to wanna to build out and optimize individually those different pages. Also inside here, of course, we can um, put in your, um, your website URL. And when you add your URL, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you add a UTM tag. So anytime somebody comes from your Google business profile page, you're also gonna be able to see that in Google Analytics. Now also, you can see cars for sale. So that's something that was in beta, I wanna say up until mid uh, this year when they moved it out into a, uh, you know, a, a full-fledged supported product. Now, the cars for sale feed, if you don't see this on your Google business profile, first of all, you can reach out to us. We're happy to get, help you get that set up. But there's a lot of different uh, companies that now can feed your inventory into the Google business profile. And the way that Google has this set up, it's gonna prioritize the feed from the location that's giving the highest quality data. So maybe it's from your website provider, maybe it's from, uh, uh, Carfax, maybe it's from TrueCar, maybe it's from HomeNet or Vauto. All of these places have the ability to uh, to uh, push 
your inventory into Google Business Profile. One thing you will want to find out is when a customer uh, opens up a, a um, an individual vehicle listing from cars for sale is make sure that this uh, dealer listings button right here, which has a URL to your dealership's website and the VDP for this individual vehicle, you're going to want to make sure that that also has the UTM tag from uh, Google My Business and the cars for sale um, specific UTM tags for source or content or campaign or whatever. Uh, you probably want to use the exact same tags that you're using from the main site in your, uh, your website listing. So I recommend going to Google, put in your dealership name, look for your Google business profile, click on the website, make sure that that has at the end, it has the parameters in the UTM uh, uh, tags to expose that information in Google Analytics. So I know I'm kind of rushing through a, a few different ideas. This is more of kind of a, a thought starter. Now, another thing you'll notice is that on some GMB profiles, some of these profiles are going to have products and services. Now, unfortunately, the way that the Google business profile is set up right now, if you have cars for sale, which is considered products, you're not going to have the ability to have products or services that you can load up uh, manually in the back end of business.google.com. So what I recommend is on your main page, your department page, this is where you have your cars for sale. On the individual, um, on the individual department pages where your cars for sale is not going to be listed, for example, for service, that's where, that's where you can use the products and services and manually post monthly specials, images of the dealership. Uh, that's all going to be things that's going to optimize uh, your individual uh, Google business profile. Now, another thing I want to talk about today is, um, is posts. So posts for Google business profile is basically like putting a post on Facebook. It allows you to share information. You can put a title, an image. Um, there's other things that you can add to it, like if it is a special, you can put a start date, an end date, and those types of things. But one of the things that we've seen that really provi provides a lot of data, a lot of content, a lot of optimization, a lot of authority for our dealers is our automated vehicle postings. So we've built out a solution that allows us to take from your dealership's inventory new arrivals, and those new arrivals get added as, an, as a post in an automated format. That's gonna bring in the vehicle image, it's gonna bring in uh, whether the vehicle is new or used, year, make, model, trim, color, miles, some of that description information, and then we're gonna bring in other content that can be added as a description to each one of these posts. Now, if you were to do this in a manual process, it might take, I don't know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes to do one every single day. And you it, it, and it, it's the, the daily posting that's gonna really drive the overall results. And getting these uh, these posts added on a monthly or on a daily basis is really what's going to start to build the authority around those different keywords. So you can see here, here's an example of one of our dealerships where we have a daily post. You can, <clears throat> you can see right here that we have the black bars on the left hand, left hand side and the right hand side. Doesn't look all that great on a desktop device, but it looks perfect on a mobile device. Most of the traffic is coming from mobile, so that's why we optimize it that way. But you can see here the things that we're going to start to get authority over and optimize the Google Business uh, Profile 4 is going to include the text that's in here. Good credit, slow credit, we can help, specialized in zero-down financing, 
used Hondas, all of this is going to add content. And you can see that we're doing this on a daily basis. Now, what's really crazy is how much of an effect this actually has. And what I'm gonna do real quick is, now we had, uh, we had the opportunity um, to, yeah. So we had the opportunity to work with the dealership not that long ago, and they brought us in to handle all of the digital marketing. Now, like many dealerships, um, when, a, when there's a general manager change, that kind of gets changed out. So we had the opportunity when there was a general manager change to be brought in. And unfortunately, there were some personnel changes, including that general manager that ended up going someplace else. And then another general manager came in. And of course, they brought, they brought in what had worked for them previously. Just like if we had a dealership and they brought they bought on a new dealership or one of our general managers went to another dealership we, we hope that they're going to bring us so no harm no foul but what, this is what's crazy i'm going to share this screen right here so this is the insights into um, google business uh, profile now i've i blocked out the dealership name um, just so we can just share the information but you can see this is where we started and this is where we ended. So this is free traffic on uh, both on listings and on, or I'm sorry, listings on maps and listing on search. So you can see what happens when you start to do things like we do for dealers and then what happens when you stop. So this is a perfect example of proof is in the data when you do the things that we're recommending for your google business profile you will be able to drive the optimization and the views to your profile and then from your profile to your dealership website to chatting with your uh, with your dealership and you can sync or hook up your chat provider to your Google Business profile. And if you can't do that, let me know. I'm more than happy to help point you in the right direction how to do that. Uh, getting a, a direction requests to your dealership, all that is free traffic and free communication uh, to your dealership. So in today, in this video, uh, we covered a few things with Google My Business and your Google Business profile. Some of the things that you should be looking at your profile and uh, figuring out how you can optimize that. Now in other videos in the past and in the future, we're gonna get into other things that you can do like adding secondary, secondary categories and how you can uh, uh, optimize that to make sure you're gonna get the best overall uh, 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 visibility um, by looking at what your competition is doing and how you can look at the competition from a primary and secondary st standpoint. Um, uh, you al also looking how you can add attributes, how you should create an appointment scheduler landing page on your dealership website and putting that into different areas uh, on your dealership's website, scheduling a test drive or scheduling a service department. So there's a lot of different things that we're going to be talking about in the future. Uh, but in this video, I wanted to prioritize the Google business profile posts and how much of an impact that can have. So. As always, I appreciate your time checking out our videos. You're going to find this video plus many others at entice.com.